Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Chris, thank you for joining me. This is gonna be a quick video. Now, a happy accident is something that happened in this shop. It's a good thing. A lot of times you hear an accident in a shop, you think, ooh, but when you put the word happy in front of it, well, it's gotta be something interesting, right? Not that big a deal, but I wanted to show you guys, so let's just jump right into this thing. So I need to draw a few semicircles here, or a couple of them, one a little bit larger than the other. I'm using a sanding disc for one of these, and then I use just a standard can of paint, or at this point, I guess a can of varnish for the other. So this is a piece of leftover black laminated plywood, laminated on both sides, and a lot of people ask me where I get my material from. I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below. It's a place here in Jacksonville, Florida, called Florida Southern Plywood. If you're in the Northeast Florida area, it's definitely worth checking out. They got the best prices, I believe, on sheet goods, Baltic birch, all kinds of stuff. Check them out, link is below. So you saw me cut this piece on the bandsaw, a little semicircle out, and then I'm just gonna, well, this didn't work too well. I'm trying to make the sanding process a little bit easier, putting a 45 degree edge on that concaved piece. Now, we're gonna move our way to the random orbit sander first, hook up the dust collection, and then just kind of make our way around this piece, kind of, you know, there's no real semblance to this. I'm just making something that will soon become very clear. And again, I've titled this video, A Happy Accident, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean here just in a minute. So be patient, enjoy the ride, and uh, just kind of wait and see what happens. So after putting a quarter inch round over on one edge, I'm gonna go ahead and ease all the edges. And you would never think that I would use bench dogs with hold fast, especially with leather protective gear on them. Well, I've come a long way, right? As a woodworker, well, not really, but these just make really handy work of holding pieces down that ordinarily would be a bit cumbersome to do. After repositioning the piece a little bit, we're gonna do some final sanding here. I've got these pads, they're just 180 grit sandpaper essentially. And now it's time to make a few marks to where we're gonna drill a few countersunk holes. Now it's time to attach this piece to the side of my spindle sandal holder. Just gonna make a quick mark and use some CA glue to attach it. So this process goes like this. You're gonna take some CA glue and you're gonna put it on the surface of one piece. The other adjoining piece, you're gonna coat with activator. I'm gonna place it, and look at that. Within a matter of seconds, it's strong enough to hold, yep, you guessed it, a holder for my random orbit sander. No mechanical faceters are on here yet, but I'm gonna drive those home here. But look how strong that hold is on two pieces of laminate. Also, if you wanna extend the shelf life of your CA glue, definitely keep it in the refrigerator. You can also keep ice cold beverages in there as well. All right, now after driving in some screws, I finally have a resting place in my new shop for my random orbit sander. Okay, folks, this stuff right here, yes, I got a coupon code, link down below, save 15% on starbond.com, anything on their site, put in Glimpse 15. But let me talk to you about this for a second. Starbond's been an affiliate of mine for a little while now. And those of you that have gone to the link and purchased a product, thank you. They do give me a little kickback, but it's totally, totally worth it. Not only are you saving 15%, but you're also getting what I think is the most versatile tool in your shop. Now that process that you saw there, me attaching it with the glue, could have been done, you know, nail gun, who knows. But the fact is, is that this speeds up your workflow and makes your job just that much easier. And it's strong as well. You saw how it was holding the sander without any mechanical fasteners there at first. Of course, I put them in there just to drive it home, be safe. And I'm telling you guys, go get yourself some of this. Say 15%. And this is, well, this is a medium thick variety. You've seen this Starbond. You've seen it around the maker community. You've seen the blue bottle, which is medium, the red, which is thick, and the light blue, which is thin. But this to me is the bee's knees, all right? Try this stuff out. The best viscosity out there on the market, that's kind of a hidden gem. All right, links are down below, check them out. The sander finally has a home. It's gonna rest there for the foreseeable future. And the happy accident was this that the vacuum and the sustainers fit perfectly underneath. Wasn't planned whatsoever, and this is gonna be kind of a new sanding station area, kind of by accident. So that's what I mean by that. I've got all of my pads here, I've got my different spindles, and then I've got a place to hold the actual sander. Now, here's the thing, the rope, or the rope, the hose is gonna be up there, but there's another method of storing it, and it's this. The sander itself has a small little cutaway for your grip but you can also use it to put the hose right on top. All right, guys, that's it for me. That was a quick little project. I definitely want to pay that forward and show you that sometimes the happiest of accidents can happen in the shop. And that was really no exception. Now, when I went to move this out of the way, 
it mistakenly had gotten under there and I couldn't believe it that there was maybe a millimeter of clearance and yep, I figured, you know, why not? I said, let's, let's come up with a little bit of a solution and yeah, it works really well. I'm so happy to get that out of the way. It used to just sit there and I used, honest to God, you guys know I wear flip flops. They're steel toe, but I still would, I still would hit my foot on that thing quite a bit and yeah. Maybe I should fix the problem and wear shoes, right? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you got something out of it, and I really, you know, I thank you so much for being here. My name's Chris. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, so I'll see you later. And it's not that big a deal, I know, but I figured it was worth showing you guys and giving you kind of a glimpse inside this process. <laughs> can't believe I said that. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> this is on the heels of me saying a glimpse of something. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I can do it! <clears throat> Let's make it happen. All right. An interesting storage solution, and I have to share it with you. So, without further ado, or further dudes, or further ado, without further ado, a ye, a ye, a ye.